Hey, 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 Gemini. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Tuesday, June 30th to July 1st. Sorry, Gems. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Geminian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message for you in a minute as soon as I get a couple cards here, and then we will get into the reading. All right, what's going on for... Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What's uh, happening? Five cards today. Ten of Swords for you at the end of the deck, too. Somebody else got that. Who else got this? Sagittarius. Interesting, because that's your opposite sign. Or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. You may want to watch that. Or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords... The death card, and that was Sagittarius's too, and I shuffled this deck good. The star card, the six of wands. Did I say the queen of cups? Okay. Like this? Okay. All right, let's get this message, Gemini, and see what's up. Take control of your life, Gemini, and they're pretty firm on this. They're wanting you. It's like, take the wheel. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Gemini, take the wheel. Actually, I think I'm going <laughs> to... They're saying yes. Okay. Give me a minute, Spirit. I think I'm going to title that. Um, okay. Is there any specific reason why? Okay. Direction. It's... They're wanting you to gain solid footing for yourself and maintain a, a, a course a direction, right, Gemini? Um, not unlike Sagittarius, like you can be scattered too. Like I got both Sagittarius and Gemini in my chart and I can just, I don't know, start five things at once and never finish anything. You feel like nothing is done, right? They're wanting you to take control of yourself, right? It's like take control of yourself and keep going in, in a specific course of action there's something specific they're wanting you to do. They're saying, yeah, and it's going to be different for everybody. So they're not, they're telling me it's specific, but they're not being specific because that's all different for everybody. And the first thing that comes to your mind, they just said is what it is. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, some ending, okay, and this may be resurfacing because Mercury is in retrograde and Mercury is your ruler, Gemini, right? So, of course, shit from the past is going to come into back into our consciousness for whatever reason, whether it be a trigger, you know, that could be anything. That can be music, that can be a scent, that, that, like, that's big for me. Like, if I smell something, it can trigger a memory, right? Um... So there's something that ended that you're wanting to transform like Sagittarius. It's like, it's your opposite sign, but it's almost like you're doing the same thing, but a little bit different I'm feeling. And I feel it has to do with possibly a pattern of behavior that, that, that is a little bit scattered. Interesting, I'm getting that for you and not Sagittarius with this. They were looking at patterns, but something um, different. With you, it's specific to 
everyday behaviors, Gemini, everyday behaviors. And they're wanting you, they just said, like, take your power back. I don't know what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, Gemini, that, that is taking you off course somehow. It's like you're letting your mind get away with you and you are very mind oriented. That's Mercury, right? But I feel like you're transforming that and you're taking control. It's becoming, it's like you're, you're becoming more aware of this and that's awesome. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The Knight of Swords here. You may even get like an epiphany. Okay. From, from spirits about this, right? Communication. Could be from your higher self. There's a lot of healing that will take place with the star card here. This is the card of Aquarius. It could have to do with an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to. Now, the star card is right below the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is somebody who it could be cancer scorpio or pisces this could be something that you're transforming it could be a possible relationship that you're transforming gemini well we're going to clarify that in a minute you are victorious over this though you do have the victory card here so all this shit that you're doing all this work that you're doing it's going to pay off tell me about the death card here Two pentacles, balance. And Sagittarius got that. You gotta see the Sagittarius one. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Ooh. Okay, I just got that. You may need to choose between two people. Um this is when it comes to love you're going to be deciding um this may what this may be what brings this shit all back up because mercury is retrograde it could be somebody from the past and that's why that ten of swords was on the bottom but the two of cups is love right it's soulmate twin flame energy the seven of pentacles patience okay yeah this was somebody from the past who walked away or who you walked away from. This may have been a wish of yours for them to come back because the wish card's here. Tell me about this wish card. Five of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Somebody may have ghosted you. You may have ghosted somebody. So it's like there's healing that needs to be had around this. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Oops, that, that's the Five of Cups. That sadness, that is regrets. Yeah, I feel this is, this is going to be a very healing time for you. Tell me about the Six of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, that's rejoicing, right? That's celebrating this victory, some sort of victory. And it's like victory over the self. That's what I'm feeling. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Lovers. Oh. Okay. This may be the person coming back. The Lovers is Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. It could have been a third energy involved because you do have a couple of threes here. Now, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, this could be an Emperor or an Empress because you've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn... But I'm feeling this person, clarify this person, this King of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Somebody's coming though. Yeah, you can't see this. It could be um, definitely somebody from the past, Gemini, but this is hidden from you. This could be a person that hid something from you as well. Could have been a third party. Tell me about the moon card. Yeah, I feel like some choice was made here in the past. 
or you're going to have to make a choice now. That's for sure. Yeah, there was a lot of arguing here. Expect the unexpected. There's that ten of swords. This person be betrayed you, lied to you, stabbed you in the back. Wow. What is this person's intention? They want commitment. Taurus energy. Um, there could be a spiritual connection here, Gemini, because the Hierophant does talk about spirituality and a higher spiritual calling. Okay, this is the decision you're going to have to make. But like I said, in any case, there will be healing surrounding this. So advice for Gemini. Wow. Advice for Gemini. Advice for Gemini. Strength. <laughs> You're going to need it, but you will be victorious over this. Yep, I knew Tower Moment was going to come out. You had like four fives. So expect the unexpected. Again, somebody else got this. Very similar. Okay, this is going to happen when you least expect it. Could involve a Libra with the Two of Swords or an Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. Um... Clarify the Seven of Swords. Okay. There's healing that needs to be done surrounding somebody that lied. Somebody that uh, somebody that lied, cheated, stole. Could have been an emperor. I, I That's what I was feeling over here, that that was an emperor. Aries, Taurus energy. Okay. But decide what you want and go forward. And this is what I think the message was about in the, in the beginning. About your course. Okay? Don't hang in limbo, Gemini. Just make a decision. All right? No decision is a decision. So I'm not saying don't peace out and chill and think about it. Absolutely. But make a decision. All right? Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Search for clarity and truth when you go within. And you'll be able to make that decision pretty quickly. All right? All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Have a good one, Gemini, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.